I'm here at CES 2026 in MSI's booth where they have the most powerful laptop I have ever seen, I think, probably. They also have the most powerful GPU that I've ever seen, probably. There's a lot of stuff to verify here, but they also have the best business laptops that I've ever seen from MSI. They're actually like really friggin' good. You don't expect to see that from these guys, but they're like, woo! So we're starting off here with the Raider 16 Max. This right here is their most powerful gaming laptop and it has a total of 300 watts of total system power. Now, how do you accomplish that kind of a thing? I don't know, let's take it apart. They do have a picture of it right here. That, that's like the easy way to do it. We could just look at that, but I'm not about that at all. One thing that's really neat is for most of what you want to do, you probably don't even need to disassemble the device. So just two Phillips head screws and you can get in here and upgrade it. With that door removed, you have access to upgrade the RAMs. We have two SODIMM slots right here. Love to see that. And also two SSD slots right there. So plenty of upgradeability. One thing I do need to know right now is that this is an early production sample and it isn't fully complete. So in the final one, there will be a third fan that lives right here on top of the chipset. It's quite a few screws. I guess it's a big laptop. To get inside, it's 12 Phillips head screws, all of which are the same length, except for this one in the middle, which is a tiny bit longer. So make sure you note that. Oh, this is clever actually. They made it so that it's a different thread so you can't accidentally screw it up. Good job, MSI. There, oh my God, that's a big heat sink. <laughs> oh my God, this is heavy. This thing is 5.7 pounds. It certainly hits above its weight still. So what they've actually had to do here is make the entire motherboard smaller so that they could fit in these huge ass fans on either side and all of the heat sinks. In here we have six heat pipes, many of which are pretty friggin' chonk. We also have four fin stacks to get all of that heat out of here. And again, it's a 300 watt TDP. So that's a lot of heat to move out of a poor little laptop. With all of that power, of course, we have the absolute fastest processors you can get inside of this guy. So we're talking an RTX 5090 and also Intel's 200HX processors, which we don't have any details on yet. But given this is a 300 watt TDP, I imagine it can suck back power. We also have a removable Wi-Fi card, which is very appreciated, and a 90 watt hour battery, which might be able to get you okay battery life if you're not doing anything, but the second that you spin this thing up, it'll run through that fast. I guess we can reassemble it for them. Be nice. They're good people here. And it still turns on. One thing I do have to say is I really like this big old dragon on the back. It's like pretty gaudy, but this is like a absolute god tier gaming laptop, so I'm okay with that. Speaking of silly over the top gaming things, for this version of the Raider, they made sure to have the LEDs on the bottom just extra bright, extra absolutely in your face. Look at them just flashing there. <laughs> now that we're into Windows, I want to give the keyboard a little bit of a go. MSI has a bit of a spotty track record in the past, so let's see how they did here. It's pretty good. It's not too bad. It's not fantastic. I would give it like maybe a soft A minus. I told them for years that they needed to fire Steel Series as their keyboard OEM, and they have, and it's so much better. Oh my God. <laughs> the screen is also very good. So we're talking OLED, 1600p, 240 hertz, 100% DCI-P3, and maybe color calibrated. Well, that's been a bit of a sour point for them in the past because they'll have a really, really good SDR color profile but then in HDR, it kind of falls apart and that's when you get those really nice thousand nits going into your face. So this is just my plea to MSI. Please give it a good tune. To give us like a not super vibrant profile, just something that's nice and true to life. I will appreciate it so much. Thank you. Just going back to the cooling for a second, MSI says that they have greatly improved how loud it is in the max turbo mode. So there's lots of laptops where they'll have this crazy TDP number, but it sounds like that someone's starting a jet engine in your room when you start it up. Uh, not ideal, but MSI says that they have gone from 54, 53 decibels in their max performance mode to under 50 in this guy. And that doesn't sound like a huge difference, only like three, four decibels, but that's actually massive because it's a logarithmic scale. So that's like almost having the amount of volume that you hear. Now we're going to look at some more of the gaming laptops, but first I need to look at this MSI Prestige. But first, first, 
I need to do the segue to our sponsor. Huge thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Surfshark is a VPN or virtual private network which allows you to hide your data from hackers, snoopers, or data trackers by routing it through a remote server. This is great when we're here at CES because we're constantly connecting to hotel or sketchy public Wi-Fi and we have important stuff to do. By using a VPN, I can make sure that our data stays safe, which is particularly important here because I'm constantly dealing with embargoed information or sending off important contracts and we have a new channel. We don't want to be labeled as those guys that leak stuff. When I'm not traveling, I love using VPNs to watch content that's not available in Canada. Like maybe it got released in the US first. Well, I can just use Surfshark to change my country and then I can just watch whatever I want. If you want additional protection, check out Surfshark Alert, which lets you know if your credit card or email has been in a data breach and lets you know immediately. So go to surfshark.com slash zip tie tech or use code zip tie tech at checkout to get an extra four months off. And if you aren't happy, they have a 30 day money back guarantee. This right here is the MSI Prestige 14 Flip. So this right here can do that sort of a thing. There's also a clamshell version and I really need to commend MSI on just how good of a job they have done on these laptops. So first of all, the Dragon logo is not here. Now we're not allowed to call this a new logo. MSI says it's the MSI patent. So sure. Either way, it looks pretty good and it doesn't sort of draw your eyes like a big old dragon on the back of your business laptop. <laughs> also, I have to say it is so incredibly nice to hold in your hands. So many manufacturers have these super sharp edges that aren't particularly comfortable, but they have rounded this all the way over with some super nice pillow block corners and also some super nice I.O. Two USB A's, headphone microphone combo jack, we've got HDMI 2.1 and two Thunderbolts over here. Very nice, not a big dongle enjoyer, and this is great. Now for the display, I am slightly confused because this one right here has an 1800p 120 hertz OLED, which is sick. But this little card right here says 1200p uh, 60 hertz, which is not as good. So apparently, depending on the buyer, like Best Buy or whoever, they might be able to get this 120 hertz in. So. Uh, I would really like to see that, but either way, it's going to be a touchscreen. It's going to be OLED 400 nits, and if it's 120 hertz, that's even better. What's super cool, though, is that on the bottom here, they have a pen, and it's stored intelligently, so look at that. The main thing that I'm concerned about, though, is, of course, the keyboard. So let's come in here. Notepad. It is fantastic. Like, I have to say, it's not the best keyboard I've ever used, but it's the best keyboard MSI has ever put out, and it is really, really freaking good. The key travel is really nice. It is super solid. There is no variation from key to key. You can probably hear here, if I get it close to my mic, like. It's actually a fantastic showing. Like this is, this is a solid A. It's nowhere close to an A plus, because that's a bit unrealistic for most laptops, but like, this is a very solid A and I'm seriously impressed by MSI and their ability to get this so nice and snappy. Like, good job guys, holy frig. As for the trackpad, it's perfectly fine. Nice and big, takes up all the space down here. And overall, it's just, it gets in the way, it's a trackpad, nothing to comment really. What is absolutely massive is the battery in this thing. Somehow MSI has been able to cram an 81 watt hour battery into this tiny little device. That paired with Panther Lake's efficiency, apparently you can get 30 hours of battery life. Now, of course, that's just local video playback and stuff, but they say in realistic usage, you can get 20 hours of battery life out of this thing, which is bonkers. They, of course, also have a 16 inch version, which is just a little bit bigger and a tiny bit floppier. But in here, we have the Intel Core Ultra X9 processor. And this thing is sweet. We have been looking at it a couple of times and the overall performance of this for the devices that it can fit into is just incredible. Like this right here is an up to 30 watt or so TDP in these laptops. And the fact that we're getting like RTX 4050 performance is just crazy. We're able to game, we can't show the FPS numbers quite yet, but like we're playing Cyberpunk here and it's doing such a good job. It, one thing to note is that it is getting a little bit warm on the keyboard, so I don't know if I'd buy this if you plan on gaming all the time, but 
if you only occasionally want to game, like it is crazy how good these integrated graphics have become. To power the devices, we've got this nice little motherboard and we can see Panther Lake right here. We've got the CPU die IO and the GPU up there. But to keep it cool, they just have this little vapor chamber with a great big fin on the end. It's pretty neat. I have to say I'm incredibly impressed with what I've seen so far. So uh, let's break that streak. Uh, this right here, it's a Cyborg A15 Max, and I think it is unusable. It is literally an unusable laptop. So you can see right here, we have a keyboard with a nice numb pad, but the trackpad is centered. So when I put my hands on the home row here, my, uh, my hand just clicks the trackpad all the time. So even if I like sort of hold off, nope, I'm clicking the trackpad. They can do all that they want for palm rejection. Doesn't matter because I'm physically clicking it. This is an unusable laptop, MSI. You need to move this over to the side right here so it's centered on your hands, so you're not hitting it all the time and physically clicking it. Or of course touch trackpad, but like this, this is not usable, seriously. <laughs> it really is a genuine sin because the Cyborg A15 is actually overall a pretty good laptop for the budget segment. Like the keyboard itself, pretty good. Everything else about the specs for the price, like it could be pretty great, but it doesn't matter if you're just constantly not able to use the keyboard. Like, come on guys, test it. Buy a mouse. No, I'm not buying a mouse, it's a laptop. <laughs> a not fatally flawed laptop though is the Stealth 16. This right here, they wanted to be not quite as gamer aesthetic and honestly, it kind of looks like a MacBook, but what doesn't look like a MacBook these days, that's good. We have this absolutely massive trackpad for a gaming laptop. And we also have a keyboard that is, again, really quite good. MSI, like what's in the water there? That was like your trademark for a while. But even though the size of this thing is pretty modest, well, <laughs> sort of, you can see it has a big old bulge here in the back, but this thing is able to deliver 170 watt TDP and it comes with up to an RTX 5090, which like, hot damn, that is pretty freaking good in something that looks like this. And oh wait, it even kind of looks like the Mac Super Pro thing over here. Uh, the cheese grater? Yeah, the cheese grater. For display, this gets a 1600p, 240 hertz OLED that goes up to 600 nits. So it should be pretty darn good to game on when it's finally released. So heck yeah, this is neat. I do always appreciate when gaming laptops don't go out of their way to show you just how gamery they are, but maybe you do want to be a show off. Moving on to desktop GPUs, in the eternal words of James Pumphrey, lightning, 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 the most brand newest lightning with a huge screen. This brand new lightning GPU from MSI not only has a massive screen on the side, but it can kachow out a thousand watts of power. They haven't even finished the BIOS yet, and they're already breaking records with this monster. We can see it in operation right now and it's just displaying system info at the moment, but you can put whatever you want on this display. You can probably just use it as a display if you really wanted to. And also we have an absolutely massive 360 millimeter radiator attached to it to dissipate all of that heat. I think this thing is incredibly cool. It only has one really big problem. They're only making 1,300 of them. They really should have made 37 more. It's a pretty sick GPU though. Just like it's pretty sick that you made it to the end of this video. Huge thanks for watching. Hit like, get subscribed, and of course, have a great old day. I'll see you in the next booth.